Do you ever wonder what it would be like to live in the Stone Age? What about Fred Flintstone's house? Well one of the couple decided to distinguish the outside from Hillsboro, California home like the popular cartoon Flintstone. But they faced a small problem when they tried to sell a house. From a distance it looks like the entrance to a military hangar. But when you look even further you'll notice that this property isn't quite normal. It's painted in an assortment of colors typically seen on the popular cartoon. And while it might look orange and purple now, it used to be painted off-white when it was originally constructed back in 1976. Giving the house its prehistoric look took some aeronautical type research. It involved applying shotcrete to the steel rebar structure and a number of mesh frames that were held in place by inflated balloons. Everything about this place seems like a live-action version of the Flintstones. The doors, the windows and even chimney and shrubs surrounding it give it that nifty Stone Age look. Ironically, the inside does not match the outside, at least not entirely. Once you walk in through the front door, you'll find the inside looks a little more modern. Of course tiling and unique works of art on the walls make it just as interesting. As you walk deeper into the house the decor of course does begin to match the outside. It's like a cross between Stone Age and Navajo dwelling with exotic color schemes that Fred and Wilma would kill for. The ceilings are also quite non-standard as well. There's lighting partially hidden on the slits of walls near the ceiling and air conditioning vents in this cave-like dwelling. The home seems like something you'd expect to find in a Disney theme park. But it wasn't always so. Back in the 80s, the home had fallen into a horrible state of disrepair. Looking at it now, it's hard to imagine the horrible condition it was in. Water runoff from a nearby mountain had caused serious damage to the foundation, making it necessary to repair the home and then transform it into this amazing prehistoric wonderland. This is the kitchen anyone would love to cook in. But you might be too busy admiring it to actually get anything done in time for dinner. The kitchen is full of amazing features. There's a center island attached to the roof of the house. It has a skylight. And let's not even talk about the cavernous furniture and interestingly modern window frame. Who wouldn't want to enjoy having breakfast or dinner in this peacefully timeless oasis? Despite its appearance, the interior does contain a lot of modern furniture like this table and chair as well as your typical 21st century appliances. Although some of you might think it's cool, not everyone sees this home as a beauty. In fact, a lot of people are crying beast, because of the experimental design. The criticism seems to have worsened since the owners bought the property in 1996 it cost them $800,000 and it's attracted a lot of curious passers-by, not to mention criticism from those who call this home an eyesore. The bathroom is still cute though even if the mirrors are a bit creepy. They're like gargoyles staring at you as you wash your face, brush your teeth or get dressed. It's managed to become somewhat of a San Francisco landmark. How many other washrooms have you been to that look like they've been carved out of a rock? This eyesore has attracted a lot of mixed attention. But it's even been rumored to have been purchased by a variety of celebrities over the years. Silicon Valley investors have allegedly called this place home once. Oh, and so did O.J. Simpson and the famous and super rich creator of Star Wars, George Lucas. The home has been on the market since September 2015 it's been listed for $4.2 million but so far no big fishes, or little ones for that matter, have bothered to bite. Desperate to wash their hands of the property, the owners decided to do a little price reduction. So the price recently went down to $3.2 million. Whoever buys it will get a 2,700 square feet home with three bedrooms. But if you don't have millions to spare you can still enjoy the comforts of this prehistoric home. The owners have turned it into an AI Airbnb and it will only set you back $750 a night so you can still have a gay old time. 